is up mfers hope you guys are having the best day of your entire freaking life we're having a pretty good damn day right here because look at this we finally got some overcasting i mean that, that's kind of spotty but it's supposed to be overcast all day the wind's not going to blow 396 miles an hour like it has been and so naturally we are thinking about a top water by in specifically i don't know if you guys have seen it but river to sea obviously has the whopper plopper and whopper plopper is awesome this is my favorite size right here the whopper plopper 130 130 millimeter size it's badass gets bit josh loves it it's my favorite it's his favorite it's my favorite i think it's a lot of people's favorite um but they've released some smaller sizes the 110 and the 90 and in my opinion they're freaking garbage i'm sure they've caught fish for some of you guys but they just sputter they're, they're too small they're not loud well they released a new size this one right here the little fat the chode. the chode they call that the chode that's the 75 size and uh it supposedly has a loud chop like the bigger 130 size and so we're, we're thinking today since we got some overcast conditions we got some a little bit of wind but not too much and you can't tell by looking at this lake right here but we're gonna go over to a different lake by here we're gonna go under that bridge right over there and it's gonna be crystal clear water and there's small mouth there's large mouth there's freaking everything and it's gonna be a great opportunity to test that guy right there to see if we can't uh, can't actually catch something giant on it but uh yeah let's let's do a little testing see if it works better than the 130 if it works at all if it's loud if it even shows up in these waves and such but uh yeah this isn't gonna be one you guys want to miss let's get on the water oh didn't even see him dude i caught a plopper fish dude it was like stopped and i reeled it a little bit and he crushed it yeah he's a little fatter bronze guy God, I didn't even notice it. Told you, got all the cloud cover, pulled out the Willie P. This is the magic point. The point dreams are made of. Yeah, here's, this is rock right underneath this. Got one. That's a good one. That's a better one. Just came up and licked it. Dude, they're like just not committing to it. I mean, he got it. That's better smallmouth that's the way they usually the big ones are here man they got big frames but they're skinny three and a half you know hey i'll take that on the wilson p freaking wasn't coming off ever look at that little uh five pound smallmouth body with a three pound body just came up and kind of spun on it weirdness but hey two plopper bites in a row out of nowhere Ooh. Crab, crab. Big, big smallie. Right by the boat, dude. Who is this guy? I think I got a slime head too. No, I think it's a smallmouth. Uh, I think it's it is. A is it a largemouth? Yeah. Yep. Just a brown largemouth. Sweet. If there's this much bait and there's. Oh, yes. Got him on the third, on the 75. Good old chode largemouth. It might be a little better. He's got her sideways. He's, he ker splashed it. It's not a bad one. Keeper. We're not crushing big ones, guys. This still, this lake doesn't have a lot of bigs in it. It's got a big small mouth. But hey, the little chode guy works. Oh, big in. Big small mouth, dude. Got one of them, finally. On the little guy. Just took some finesse and... Larry. It's a large mouth, what the hell? Every bite that I've missed so far out here has been a small mouth. And that guy is a fat little large mouth. On the chode. There we go. Oh large head, large just head. slurped it. You bet, that's a giant. He will never come off. I'm just gonna have to keep casting with him on, I think. Another one. Seems as if the little guy is working better than the big guy. Looks too good. There he is. Jumper. Jumping small jaw. 
Not a terrible one. Small jaw on the chode. I was just saying, it looks too good. It feels too good. I think we're gonna catch pow pow. Been fishing around for a while. I, I'm really, really surprised honestly at how effective this little size, 75 size chode plopper is working. There's been a lot of times where I throw up on the point with the 130 size and I get them to come up and they'll, they'll swirl on it, they'll tap it or whatever. And then I can throw this little guy back in there and get bit. And now that it's kind of gotten brighter, Days, it's it's still low light condition, still cloudy, but it's definitely brighter than it was first thing this morning. They won't even touch that bone colored bigger size, and I'm still getting them to come up and, and follow this thing. I, they're kind of just they're still not really wanting to commit to it. Not really the best most fire top water day of all time, but we've kind of a lot of good fish on this thing. I'm super impressed by the little size and the way I'm fishing it. I, I think I've talked to you guys about that a little bit, but just short little twitches, just twitching the rod tip, not fishing it like a full on plopper hardly at all. But just twitching it, pause, twitch, 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 kind of working it like a prop bait, like I said. Um, but it just sprays a little bit of water, makes that chopping sound. It's like a popper, but with a, a different, louder swooshing sound. And I think that's huge for these smallmouths, and they are uh, they're crushing it. But we're gonna keep fishing and hopefully come across a couple more. That was a good, good little bow action on that guy. Smally? It is a largey. A Damn, fish. dude. Yeah, that's the best one we caught today. Oh yeah. That's so thick. He got smaller. He's only like a three and a quarter, but he's so fat. <laughs> Damn. Is it brown one? It's a brown one. Yes. Dude, I turned my camera off right then. Everyone's gonna be like, you staged the fish catch. I did not stage no fish catch, but hey. No, I can the little plopper. I can send you my camera. Yeah, you guys gotta trust Josh. I threw in there and I got blowed up on, on my big plopper and the old 75 baby one. Work to has follow up bait. I'm working it like a a uh, prop bait, kind of slowing it down and. Mm. Oh, he ate it when it was stopped, dude. That's a better one. Feels big. Oh, it's a good one. Good one. Good one on the baby plop. Get in here, <laughs> dude. It was stopped. Dude, so, that's dude, badass, that's dude. badass on the baby plop, dude. I know. Yeah. I'm so glad. I didn't think we could stay here in this spot with this much wind in our trolling motor. That's a badass fish. Oh, that's legit. That's a long fish. They they all have those big frames. Holy shit! Yeah, that's like a that's a pretty good one, man. That's close to four pounder. Look at that on the little plopper, big one. I'll take it. I just had a bite on the 130 and so I threw the little guy in there and I was just telling Josh like this thing can barely be seen in the waves. They're not huge waves, but decent sized waves, more so than most people would throw a top water in. And so I was just kind of, since it kept, when I was reeling it straight, I kind of kept trying to work it like a, a, I don't know, prop bait, stopping it and just kind of ripping it and stopping it and letting it sit there. And that guy crushed it when it was stopped. Boom. Oh, oh, big one, dude. Got it! You got it! That's a big big head! Yes! It looked huge anyway. He came out of the water. Oh, yes! Dude, the little one. The little one. The 75 is getting it done, man. Freaking fatties. We're working on a good little group of freaking small jaws here in the low light conditions, eh? Look at this little thing. Just working it like a freaking prop bait. Josh is getting bent up there. We gotta get this guy back in the water. Get our plopper back in there. He freaking shamooed that thing. It once and he stopped it. Boom. Three and a half pound smallmouth. We're gonna get back in there, bud. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I think it was might have been a small one. Speaking of small one, that's what I'm gonna throw in there. I'm gonna throw in the chode plopper. Here comes the chode plopper. Oh, got him, got him, yep. That, no, that was him. On the chode plopper. Little bronze guy. I don't know, is it, I think it's appropriate to say, this is the chode plopper, if you're wondering. 75, we have renamed it. Chode is not a derogatory term towards this plopper because it is pa them in the darkness. 
All right, guys, back at home now. You know, this guy right here, this this little 75 size new Whopper Plopper really, really surprised me. And like I alluded to at the end of this video, I honestly kind of felt like the two smaller sizes in between this one and my favorite 130 size, uh, which are the 90 and the 110, um, I think they're trash. I'm not a big fan of them at all. They just flat out did not get bit for me. They didn't make enough noise, disturbance, etc. This guy, for whatever reason, not for whatever reason, but the way they designed this thing with a more taller bait fish profile, still casts really well, has good quality hooks on it, but most importantly, it has this big chopping, plopping blade on it that makes that loud whopper plopper noise, which is 100% important. It's completely worthless to have a bait like this and have it just barely sputter. It's like having a buzz bait that's almost silent or something. I did get a bite or two just straight reeling it, um, and it is much louder than I thought it would be, so I was happy with that. But the main way I threw this, like I told you guys, was fishing it like a, kind of like a popper, but giving it a little bit longer pulls instead of just direct little twitches like I do a popper. So just like a prop bait basically, which of course is what this guy is, but totally different than how I fished the 130, which I'm trying to reel that nice quick pace to make a nice loud plopping noise all the way through. And it's like I was telling Josh, you know, the great thing about this bait is we now have somewhat more of a follow-up bait that's super similar to the Whopper Plopper when it comes to the noise, uh, the Whopper Plopper 130 that is, except when I stop this bait, it isn't big and long and has a giant tail and doesn't really look very natural like the 130 does. This guy is clear, it's see-through, that's why I got this natural bluegill color, and I don't know, I'm not affiliated with River to See at all. In fact, I haven't been a big fan of the large majority of their products. But I think they got a winner here, and this is one I'm probably going to be using a whole lot more. Please comment down below if you guys have had good experiences with this bait. Um, I'll link everything I used in the video right down below, so click on those links. Go check out these companies that help support my channel, help support some apparently decent fish catching products. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys' experience have been, and if you want to see me use this guy right here moving forward. But thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video right here. I'll catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace!